Tea Miniatures. It's a rather rainy, dreary day out, so I thought I'd take some time to review the D-Series of the Artist Opus Dry Brushes. Uh, I've been using almost exclusively uh, Artist Opus brushes for the last couple months now. I have the S-Series, which is their standard, and I also have their M-Series, which I'm planning to get around to do a review for that as well. But today I want to focus on the D-Series or the Dry Brush. So if you guys are familiar with Artist Opus, they are a boutique miniature brush company uh, and in this case this is their their dry brush series retails for I believe $78 not including shipping and handling uh, and there are some options with the box here it's nicely engraved but you can certainly customize it for a uh, for a price including the uh, the inside of the box as well um, if I can get it there so where it says artist opus you can also choose to put something else there for the engraving uh, you get four brushes standard in their set the large through their extra small uh, it also comes with a uh, standard uh, soap, uh, brush soap, which all their sets come with. And the one unique thing that this also comes with is a damping pad, which is unusual for dry brushing. Normally you want to get your, your brush as dry as possible. With these dome brushes, they're similar to a makeup brush, and just with a little bit of moisture on them, it helps the, the paint come off a little easier. So I have been putting these brushes through the paces for the last almost a month now at this point. Um, I really, really enjoy these brushes, particularly the larger ones. They're a bit beat up and I, I just previously cleaned these, so I haven't actually straightened out the bristles yet, but you can see uh, they hold their, their shape really well once you uh, get all the, the moisture off of them from the previous cleaning. Um, and they're, they're dome brushes, but unlike a makeup style dome brush, which I have one here, I think I got this for like 25 cents off of Amazon. Um, these are really densely packed right at the tip and the uh, the ferrule of it is is really close to the actual brush handle itself so it doesn't really come out that far uh, from the brush handle itself um, and that allows for a whole lot of control but also it just makes the brushes very soft yet very stiff so you're able to really get into the detailed areas you want. Now these brushes really really excel um, when it comes to terrain and vehicles so I've got a couple examples here. All of these I painted almost entirely with uh, with dry brushing techniques. Um, sorry lighting's not great. But outside of maybe the cabling and some of the, the more metallic details, this is all done with dry brush. I also have two vehicle examples. I've got a, a Kit Bash Samael, which I also did almost entirely with dry brushing, including a lot of the detail areas. So like on the, the wings here of this, uh, this marbled bird that's on the front of the bike, uh, I did that with one of the smaller dry brushes. Same thing with his cloak, um, to a certain extent his boots, with the exception of some of the filigree. That you see in there. Everything else was dry brushed. Quick, clean, great results. Same thing here with uh, an Outrider that I kit bashed um, to, to be a more of a Dark Angels flavor. All done with dry brush. The nice thing about this set is it comes with a, a variety of options and sizes. So my, my go-to so far has been the, the large uh, but they also have really tiny ones, um, like this is the extra small, which you can see. It's still a dome brush technically, but it's it's super tiny. Um, and what this allowed me to do is, it's not, it's not so much dry brush, but stipple in, in areas that I really wanted to get some extra detail in. So for like this example in this train here, I undercoated it with, uh, with Abaddon Black, and then I dry brushed uh, a variety of Wraithbone over the surface and slowly brought it up to a white scar and then finally a paraxy white. Uh, but a lot of these little areas I couldn't get to with the uh, the extra large, at least not without really working my brush in. So the extra small is, is, is quite nice just to be able to have that option just to get in here. And it's also nice for, for some of the highlighting uh, around the edges uh, and some of the smaller, more detailed areas. Um, it's not for everybody. Uh, a lot of these smaller brushes in this line um, are very specialized. There's, you know, it's not a, an everyday brush. You really have to have something that is specific um, 
or has a specific need for that small of a brush. But it's a, it's a great, great series. Uh, honestly, these are the best dry brushes I have come across. Uh, as cheap as some of the, the dome makeup brushes are online, they're super cheap. I mean, I've seen them go for as little as like 25 for a pack of, or sorry, 25 for $5 in a pack that you get from China. Um, ridiculously cheap. These are on the expensive side, obviously, uh, almost $80 with shipping and handling. It's probably going to push you over 100 particularly because they are a company out of London, so it's shipping from overseas. But I think it's well worth it. I've been using these brushes for you know over a month now, almost every day, and they really, really hold their shape. Um, they are not cheap brushes. Just the thickness of the handle makes it really nice to control the brushes. Well, this is a four brush set. They also have a few others in the line. So this is their extra large, um, which I also purchased separately. Uh, they do have a, a case that will fit five, but you still have to purchase the, uh, the extra brush separately. But uh, I really, really love these brushes. Um, I enjoy the entire Artist Opus series. Full transparency, they do not sponsor me. I have no affiliation. I just really like these brushes. Um, they are my, my go-to for everything I have been painting, and uh, I think it's well worth the price. And it's also worth just sponsoring if you will or, or supporting a, a small company you know this is not Amazon I'm buying these through this is a, a dedicated small company that puts out great content great product I think there's something intrinsically valuable about supporting a company like that so uh, definitely check artist opus out um, if you haven't seen their YouTube page they do some fantastic tutorials showing how to maximize these brushes uh, and just really good painting techniques overall so uh, two thumbs up for our artist opus D series um, definitely check out their full line if you're looking for just everyday beater brushes this is probably not the way to go but if you are very serious about the hobby um, and you've, you've got a, an army to paint or something you want to maybe it's a display painting um, you know definitely check these brushes out I will tell you their M series which I'm planning to do a, a review on perhaps as early as this week they're fantastic uh, really really great brushes that's their their specialty miniature series um, but otherwise uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review check out artist opus and thanks for tuning in